And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea stands between the posts. Marcus Rashford starts with Anthony out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Esri Konza starts alongside Tyrone Mings in central defence. Bubakar Kamara starts alongside Douglas Luis in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Big chance. Full credit. Wonderful stop. More than decent this from United, but timely defending when it mattered. Ramsey. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. McGinn. Might jump in front, and there it is, the breakthrough, that will do nicely. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Yeah. And they need to get tighter. Alex oh, great attacking play. He's got to score! And a goal! An end to end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. He doesn't have to do it on his own. But quick thinking defensively. Breaking at pace. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see, but without really creating too many chances, which when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Bubakar Kamara. Ollie Watkins. McGinn, Douglas Luiz, the cross is on, back a play then for a Villa throw in, oh, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick, and he whips it in, The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And that pass could be troublesome. Now the task is to remain focused. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it!
Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And there goes the whistle. That closes the book on the first half here at Old Trafford. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Lewandowski now. Can he make it count? And the keeper more than alive to it. Well, he's tried to be clever, but he just didn't get enough on it. That's a comfortable save. Bruno Fernandes. Shot attempted. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Let's see about the delivery. Goalkeeper's ball. It was always going to be that way. Can he take the chance? Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. McGinn. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. He quartered the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Substitution for Manchester United. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Luke Shaw. To be replaced by number 28, Facundo Palacio. He'll take this on. Oh, brilliant technique. I'm not sure about you, Stuart, but I thought that was going in. Well, so did I, but in the end, it comes to nothing. But what a great strike it was. It was hit so sweetly. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Marcus Rashford. It did look on for them, but not to be. Douglas Luiz. Here's Martial now. Now options are plenty. And blocked for now. Out of play. United throw in coming up. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Lewandowski now. And it might be. And danger still. In it goes. And the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save. But the ball comes off of him. Rebounds straight to an attacker. And the finish is excellent. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Wendia. Wendia. Will he play it in? What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Here it is now, a substitution. Rashford. 
Losing possession. It looks promising. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. He's in with a chance. Oh, it's mischievous. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish showed great composure. Just to lift it over the goalkeeper. That's a lovely goal. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. And there it is, the full-time whistle. A victory for Manchester United. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much 